Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro held a meeting with the newly elected members of the National Assembly, representing the Great Patriotic Pole Electoral Alliance, and stressed that the new National Assembly will be installed on Tuesday, January 5th, despite the sabotage attempts by extreme sectors of the opposition and their foreign allies. By constitutional mandate, this National Assembly was elected on December 6, 2020, and by an inexorable, unquestionable, firm and total mandate, this Assembly will be installed on January the 5th at 11 a.m. tomorrow, January the 5th at 11 a.m. Venezuela will have its new National Assembly installed, the new legislative branch. So I thank you because you have been working. You have been informing me extensively on all the plans, the plan called the Carabobo 200 plan of the National Assembly, the Carabobo 200 plan to recover the National Assembly. And after the appointment of Jorge Rodriguez as the president of the new National Assembly, President Maduro ratified the appointment of Diosdado Cabello as head of the Homeland Parliamentary Bloc. It is very important that the Homeland Bloc, the parliamentary group, has an experienced leadership, well articulated, with a work team that is formed to build and maintain the union of our deputies, to maintain the leadership in the states, in the circuits, and for that reason, the name of Diosdado Cabello has been proposed to assume the leadership of the homeland bloc within the National Assembly. And the Venezuelan president congratulated the new leadership of the National Assembly, which in accordance with the constitutional mandate will take office this January 5th. I congratulate Dr. Jorge Rodriguez, who tomorrow will become the new president of the National Assembly of the country. I congratulate him. To Dr. Iris Varela, first vice president, I congratulate beforehand comrade Didalco Bolivar, second vice president, and comrade Rosal Bajil, secretary, and Inti Inhosa, under secretary. Three women have been proposed out of five members of the board. Women in power, the new National Assembly has a feminine hallmark.